Hey everybody, this is Aaron from Game Grips. I have a really important message. So please, so please don't, don't hang up. Don't hang up the phone. Don't, don't, don't put down the phone. Don't, don't close this video. Don't do it. It's very important. It's very imperative that everyone knows. Oh, Jesus. Woo. Okay, everybody, everybody hurry. Everybody, everybody hurry. Everybody subscribe to J Joseph Smash on YouTube before it's too late. Hurry. Oh God. Oh God, they're coming. Oh, God. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's Joseph here, and we're playing Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror Fate HD uh, for PC. And uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, don't leave a, a like, but leave a dislike. Uh, comment if you want to, and subscribe, because that really helps me out a lot. And in the last episode, we basically did the tutorial, or the first part of the tutorial, and we watched basically some backstory stuff and a flashback with Gabriel Belmont, who is now Dracula, and who is Simon Belmont's grandfather, which is, I'm Simon Belmont right now. And we're gonna go a little bit, hopefully a little bit longer on this episode, uh, cause I really wanna, really wanna beat this game. It's only about, like, I think I beat it the first time, uh, the 3DS version, in about 10 hours, I think. And it was relatively easy on easy mode, but, uh, the reason I played on easy mode the first time was because hard, uh, not hard, but normal mode was a little bit too much on some of the bosses. So I just played on, uh, easy mode. And there's also, late in the later parts of the game, there's a shit ton of enemies. Like, there's a crap ton of enemies. Uh, and it gets really hectic, so that's part of the reason why I also changed, uh, turned down the volume on my original playthrough of this game, which is a little over a year ago. But this is... Uh, against what some people will say about this game not being the greatest Castlevania game. Uh, this is my personal favorite in the entire series. I really enjoy this game. And I actually, the, the playthrough I did on my 3DS, I actually 100%ed it. I got all the secrets, uh, I got all like the, the power-ups or like upgrades and anything else you can pretty much get in the game. So literally all there was left to do in the game was essentially walk around aimlessly and do nothing because I literally got everything there is to get in the game uh, like on the on the profile section I didn't check to see if it did that on this version of the game but on the 3s version it essentially showed you how much percentage of the game you've beaten just like it's for like completionists who want to know how much they've completed mine it, like it actually said 100% completed so that that's what I mean by that and we just got a scroll which these things you can read them I don't really read them, sometimes I do, uh, or I did when I first played the game, but we're not going to worry about them this time, uh, because they're just little, uh, like, it's like world building stuff, and they also give you XP, so it's super cool. I don't know why I keep jumping, but I'm going to keep jumping. And then I think I do get a better, uh, whip for Simon, because right now his is just like, like a standard whip, like, almost like made out of, like, leather or something, uh, but you get a better whip. Uh, for Simon later on. I think it's actually, you get Trevor Belmont's whip, who Trevor Belmont is Simon's father. And also, I need to remember how to do uh, the power-ups. There we go. You press uh, the B button to shoot uh, axes and stuff. These barrels can be broken with your main weapon. But I want to break them with this. No, they don't break like that. They were, they were, they were telling the truth, they don't break with your secondary weapons. Got a duck! Go under. And so now we're out of the town, we're going to the castle's outer wall. Cause we are entering Dracula's castle! In a minute. Raise our health. See, like, you can see up there where the HUD is, you can see the, you can extend your, uh, your health and your, like, I think it was magic or something. I think that's a magic meter underneath. There's two meters, I know that. I, it's been over a year since I beat this game, so... Uh, forgive me if I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it's been a while. I mean, I've played it, like, off and on. Like, this version, just to, like, benchmark it on this computer. And my old laptop, too. And I'm pretty sure that a potato could run this game. Uh, I haven't tried recording this game at, like, the highest resolution that I possibly can, which... Uh, is like a little bit higher than 720. I haven't recorded with that resolution, but it does run at 60 FPS with that resolution easily. 
It's super awesome. So th I'm pretty sure this game is like the most potato friendly uh, Castlevania game there is. And that's super cool. Why can't I drag this? Oh, it's just so I can get back if I ever need to go back up. Let's take care of these frickers. I'm, try I'm gonna try not to cuss as much in these videos because probably shouldn't be doing that as much. It, it's not good for whenever I want to start making money off of this. Uh, once I get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, which I'm getting there. The watch hours, like I have a, I have an app on my phone that checks how many watch hours you have at any given time, and you can refresh it too, so it's like real time. And pretty, I check it like once or once a day, or maybe once every other day. And every time I go on into the app, it like. I, my watch hours go up every single time, like at least an hour or two. So it's it's going pretty slow, but we're getting there. And also that red glowy thing up there, you need a I need a different uh, power up or item to get up there. So it'll be a little while before I can get uh, up there. If I remember correctly, I don't think I got that item until at least a little bit more than halfway through the game. I think so. I ended up going back because you can backtrack. This is essentially like a Metroidvania game. This is, like, what the Lords of Shadow series should have been. Like, for all three games. The first two games... Uh, so, oh, fuck. Lords of Shadow and Lords of Shadow 2 were essentially, like, almost like Devil May Cry or God of War clones. Like, in a way, they felt a lot like those two games. And I think... I have never actually seen very much gameplay of those two games. And I've never actually really played them. I did recently buy them both during the Steam Halloween sale, but I haven't had a chance to check them out yet, but I am very excited to. Uh, well, that's it's, that's partly true because I, hold on, I gotta fix my earbuds. I did play the demo of the first game, like, a, a, a while ago, like, back when COVID was just first starting. Uh, but, yeah, it, it was pretty fun. I got stuck, though, in that demo. There was a part where I got really stuck. Let's grab this little, uh, sea creature man. And I'm almost out of health. Like, I'm almost halfway out of health. Oh god, I forgot I can, I forgot I can dodge. I remember really uh, taking advantage of the dodge and the block later on. Uh, except I was blocking right there, and he still got me. Because later in the game, it really helps to, like, dodge out of the way of the enemies. Because they give you an indicator uh, when they're about to strike. So if you're quick, and if you, if you think fast, you can easily do it without too much issue. Um, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, the Lords of Shadow games. Um, but what, what I was leading up to saying was that I feel, my personal opinion, is that this game is kind of like an evolution of, like, what a Symphony of the Night style Castlevania game should be in modern times. Like, either this or maybe, like, something like Bloodstained, maybe, but, like, I feel like if Konami was to do it, they would make it less like Bloodstained and more like this. If they were going to make a 2D side-scrolling Metroidvania Castlevania game like today in 2020 or 2021. I feel like this would be the most... I feel like this would be what they would do. Or what I would prefer them to do. Because I really do like this game. Uh, it's, it's really accessible. And it's really fun. I, I love it. It's, it's Honestly, it's like, it's like God of War, but in 2D. Because, like, the combat is really, really, really similar to, like, games like God of War. It's like a, it's almost like a, it's almost like a God of War clone. Because the first, the Lords of Shadow games, the, the, the main two, were definitely, uh, God of War clones. Maybe a little bit of Devil May Cry and Bayonetta as well. So yeah, dodging them. Uh, that was pretty, pretty easy. They're like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, and God of War all wrapped into one. Oh, no! Okay, I thought I was gonna fall. That would not have been good. Oh, I, I have to go down here. Never mind. I can't get up there yet. Um, but I really do like this game. I prefer it over Symphony of the Night, but I would say Symphony of the Night is my second favorite. But yet again, there's a bunch of them that I've never played before. Like, I've never played Portrait of Ruin. I want to play Portrait of Ruin just because it looks really different. It almost looks like Castlevania, and it's like anime Castlevania. So it, it, it's really cool. I like I like the the images and screenshots I've seen of Portrait of Ruin. I really like. 
I cannot go, uh, I cannot swing across yet. So I have to, I have to resort to jumping like a barbarian. This fills up. Oh, no, I can't use that yet. That fills up. Oh, yeah, because it is a magic meter, because you get, uh, you get little ghosts that help you out. And I think one of them is Simon's mom. I'm pretty sure. I love his voice. Stand aside. I don't, I can't do his, the accent. I don't even really know what I, accent it is. It's my sorcery. Oh, he, he just pulled a Jedi mind trick. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, he's we're going, we're on a quest to look for Trevor's uh, whip, which I guess he calls it a combat cross. He that guy's the mirror of fate. That's like Batman, except he doesn't do it when they're turned away. He does it when they're staring right at him. Batman will be like, "Yeah, as soon as he looks away, I'm gonna disappear." And then this guy's just like, oh, you're looking at me? Oh, well, I'm disappearing. Bye-bye. All right, let's go. Let's get that. Oh, no! It's, it's, uh, Monster Man. I haven't been using any of my secondary weapons. I probably should use that more. Oh, yeah, you can roll to go faster, uh, in the, uh, crawly areas. I can't use that now. Yay! Let's go. I don't, I'm not sure if this is actually the way I'm supposed to be going. Uh, but that's okay. It's a Metroidvania game. You never know where you're supposed to be going, uh, for real. Unless you've actually played the game before. I think there's gonna be a big enemy over here. I'm pretty sure. Or at least a big chunk of enemies. See, this is one of the ghosts. Uh, I think. I, I just call them ghosts. I don't really know what they're called in the game. I don't remember. But they basically give you, like, power-ups and stuff that you can use for a limited time. And I know we're gonna get one soon. I just, I don't know if that was it or not. We got Flying Boob Lady with wings. What's it go? It's a me. Oh, yeah, see? It's her. She can give me uh, invincibility temporarily. Uh, LB to summon her now. Yes, I get temporary invincibility. See, she'll block all the things that are trying to hit me. Uh, except I don't want to use her right now. Oh god, maybe I should. See, that's what that's that's the magic bar. That's what the magic bar is for. Except if you use it too much, it'll run out, and you have to refill your magic at some point. All right, let's turn it off for now. Oh god, I hit him at the exact time he was gonna attack me. Oh no! I need to use it. Yeah, these uh, flying enemies get really annoying in the later parts of the game. Because in the later parts of the game, the enemies are just fucking everywhere. They're everywhere, dude. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. It's actually, it's it makes the game difficult, that's for sure. It gives you a challenge, but there's almost like too many, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. I might just be remembering it wrong. And who knows, maybe they changed it for the, the PC and, a, I guess, just HD version of the game. Because uh, the 3DS version was the original version. This game was originally a 3DS exclusive, I think. And then it came to Xbox 360, PS3, and PC as an HD version. Except for some reason, it's still not truly uh, HD. Because there's black bars on the side of my screen. It's kind of that's that kind of sucks, man. I hope it doesn't f affect the resolution of the video at all. And also, I need to I need to get to a save point because I'm probably gonna end this video. Actually, no, I'll go a little bit longer. I'll probably go to the 20 minute mark. I'm always so worried about when I'm gonna end the video, when I should just play the game and enjoy it. Ugh. And I've been I, I've been waiting to do a let's play of this game. I love this game. 
And no one else does, though. This is considered, like, not a good Castlevania game to most people. Alright, so this... This is the part that originally... This is the first part I got stuck in this game uh, when I first played it on the 3DS. Because you basically have to really, really take care of how much magic meter you're using uh, when you go underneath those things. Because th this whole segment is uh, part... Like, just, you, the entire time you're just... You gotta micromanage how much magic you're using so that you don't run out because this will kill you uh, if you're underneath it without the the ghost lady which I remember hearing something about how one of the ghosts is Simon's mom or it might be like uh, maybe not Simon's mom but uh, Trevor's mom maybe I just I remember hearing about that or I remember that like being confirmed in the game I'm not quite sure I guess we'll find out later or not oh shoot I need actually there is a another uh, magic fountain on the other side of this chasm. So let's move this over here and jump up there and refill our magic meter. There we go. My legs are numb because I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. I'm not going to be able to stand up by the end of this video. Alright. Let's go! And then, uh, the bosses in this game are actually, they're really fun. They just get really hard. Which is, the bosses were the original reason I played this game on easy mode uh, the first time. And then towards the end of the game, I tried putting it just like I was going to try normal to finish off the game. Uh, it didn't go so well. Oh, shit. I think I'm kind of screwed now. I think I'm kind of screwed. I used a little bit too much magic. I'm going to have to go back. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm gonna run out now. I think I you you gotta like you have to like once you go through you have to keep going, cause you won't be able to refill it later, or you will but you'll have to go back to the beginning of this. Oh yay, more more fountain. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna go up here for a second. See you. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go this way though for right now. Oh nope, there's nothing over here. Never mind. I remember just I remember going the opposite direction uh, for some reason. My memory of this game is fuzzy. Like I said, I played it over a year ago. Oh no, yeah, we're yeah we're we're in the right spot. I'm supposed to move a crate somewhere. Uh, shit, the crate's right over there. We're supposed to move this down. Move it. Oh no, not that way. Cause we gotta, I think we gotta stand on it for something. I love the music. The music right now is playing is so ominous and fun. See, yeah, that breaks that down. And then we use it to get over here, I assume. Let's go. Move the crate. Box pushing. Wasn't there, I actually, I think there was a box pushing simulator that was made. If I remember correctly, I think I gotta put this right here. Uh, to get up here. Give me magic! Fill me up! Fill me up with your magic! That, that could be taken out of context very inappropriately. That's okay. Hold the left stick. It says up in the corner by the map. I don't know why. Oh shoot, no! I forgot to turn on my magic. Fuck, dude. That sucks. I'm such a dummy. I was too busy looking at the hold left stick uh, label in the by the map. What does that mean? I'm I, I'm holding the left stick. The left stick. This is like freaking Assassin's Creed climbing. Yes, heal me. Heal me. Oh no! I thought that was regular water. Fuck, where am I gonna go now? Where does it where's it gonna send me back to? Oh you've gotta be shitting me. I gotta go back and get the crate. Damn son. That was an awful death. I, I thought that was just water that I could swim in. 
I'm a freaking dummy. Get up there. Jeez, get up there. Thank you. All right, let's let's try that again. Our first death in the game. Many more to come. All right, we're going to move the crate back and we're not going to die. We're not going to fall. In oh shit, I did it again. I'm a fucking idiot. Cuz on the 3DS version, you just have to touch the touch screen uh, to turn these on, I think. I might be wrong. I don't remember. I don't even have my 2DS anymore. I played it on a 2DS. I forgot to mention that. Uh, the Mario Maker themed 2DS. And I played it. And it was fun. I don't have that 2DS anymore because the charger stopped working. It wasn't the charger. It was the system itself. Like, no... I have... I have... I had... I had... I got rid of all of them. I had multiple 3DS chargers. Uh, because I had a DSi which used the 3DS... Uh, the same charger. And then I also had a 3DS, the original, like, turquoise, like, like almost metal-looking turquoise color. And then also the, I had the, the Mario Maker-themed 2DS. So I had all of those. So I essentially had, by the time I got, by the time I got rid of my last 3DS, which was the Mario Maker 2DS, I had, like, four or five chargers. I don't I remember exactly how I got more than three. But, I did. I was supposed to go up here, I'm such a dummy. But I played this game on the, the 2DS. And I sold my 2DS, I sold all my 3DS uh, stuff. Because I wanted to, I should have kept a lot of them. But yet again, all the games I had were just the cartridges. Uh, I, I went through a phase where I would just get rid of all of my, uh... No, no, okay, 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 Jesus. What exactly am I supposed to do right now? Because I almost jumped in the water again. I know I'm in the wrong spot. I can tell. Because I should I should not have gone this way. Is there is there a way to... I know I can... There we go. Okay. I was really worried. Like, I didn't know if I went the wrong way. Because it seemed like everywhere there was, was death. But we're good. I should probably think a little before I jump. Don't fucking hit me. But yeah, I would never keep any cartridge out of the box any ever again. I would never buy a loose game. But I went through a phase where I was getting rid of all my the cases for all my games and just kept the cartridges in like a little freaking Ziploc bag. And I would never ever do that now. Like that was before I was a collector of games as I would call myself now. Get out of here, Zambies. Alright. Can I actually... Oh, no. Falco Lady. Oh, I'm gonna use my... My axes. Dang, three hits. Dead. Dead in three hits. What is that? Never mind, it's fine. There's just a... The Windows 10 game bar is covering up part of the... Top right corner. And I can't see what any of that stuff means. Like, there's a little label that says new. I have no idea what that is right now. Can I get up there? Am I able Am I able to get up there? I don't think so. At least not yet. My legs are so numb and they actually hurt. I gotta end this quick or my legs are gonna break. Alright. I we just gonna get to the next save point. And then I shall end this. Death! Alright. Up we go. Gotta get to the next save point so that I can end this. Erg! I wanted to do a review of this game, uh, cause this channel was a thing when I was playing the 3DS version of the game, but I wanted to make a review of it as like a ver as like my first review, cause eventually I'll probably start doing reviews of games once I get more traction on YouTube as a platform. But, uh, what's it called? I didn't, I wanted to do a review of this game. Like, I was constantly thinking in my mind about how I would do a review of this. And in my mind, I sound, oh yay, secret. In my mind, I sounded pretty, uh, pretty, what's it called? Like, I don't know what, what word was, I was about to, I, I sounded pretty intelligible. Like, I knew what I was talking about.
but I don't really know how how I would do the review right now, seeing how I don't really remember much of the game. Okay, so it just saved, and we're about to get to the first boss, so we will save that for the next episode. Uh okay, sorry about that. Uh, I accidentally exited out of the game completely instead of going to the main menu where it, and then the video ended. Uh, so I just before we end this episode, I just wanted to say, uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, uh, dislike it, and comment if you want to. I like I like uh, responding to comments and stuff. Uh, it's really enjoyable for me. And then if you guys want to, you can hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help a lot, help out a lot. We're on our way to hopefully becoming a pretty decent Let's Player on the platform. Uh, we'll see how it goes, because I'm kind of getting sad that Let's Plays aren't as prevalent of a thing anymore on YouTube, and I want to be part of what brings them back, if possible. I'm thinking really big here. I'm putting a lot of, like, I'm putting a lot of my cards on this, so I'm putting, like, all my cards onto this as a channel, and hopefully we will become a career. We'll see if YouTube gets better about paying its creators, especially smaller channels, uh, once I start making money, and we'll see how it goes. I might, I, I, I would, I, I think it's fair to say that I want to be somewhat popular on YouTube. I want, I want to hit a million one day, and we'll see how it goes. So if you guys subscribe now, you can be the first in a long line of plenty of subscribers. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you all in the next video tomorrow. Farewell.